Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 52.9. She's at 20, stunts 5 at 5. She fights out of Manchester, Predators, and hails from Manchester, Melissa Bailey. And her opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 53. She's at 19, stunts 5 at 3. She fights out of Scottish Heat Squad and hails from Scotland, Jogger Hartland. Your referee, Mr. Phil DeFries. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door set to close on this amateur catch weight at 120 pounds. Melissa Bailey fighting out of the red corner representing Manchester Predators. She's all in pink as she takes on the Scottish Hit Squads. Georgia Hackland, both these young prospects want to know. Touch gloves and straight away. Georgia Hackland pushing forward. And Bailey just looking to land those straight strikes. She's obviously got the obvious range on her opponent, Hackland. And here we go, nice clinch knees. Beautiful, just left herself a little bit exposed there. Beautiful kick there by Bailey. Ooh, solid low kick oh. there by Hackland. Catches the leg and just dumps her opponent. And doesn't bother to follow her down. Allows her straight back up. Obviously, happy with the hands at the moment. Yeah, very comfortable standing up. She's landing almost everything she throws. And now it's up to Bailey to answer these questions because she's just covering. Bit of a desperation shot. Beautiful takedown defense oh. there by Hackland and makes her eat the knee again. Right now, it's... It, Hacklin is the one pushing forward and already marked up. Yeah, Melissa ba Bailey. And very comfortable on her feet, the Scottish lass. Yeah, and, and it's not to say that Bailey isn't skilled on the feet. It's just that uh, I think this is um, Hacklin's comfort zone. But her takedown defense and her wrestling is all geared to keep this standing, and that's the key. A lot of strikers learn jiu-jitsu yeah. and learn how to take people down. With strikers who learn at an early age how to keep it standing and keep it in your world, that's what oh, makes you a beautiful, throw. beautiful thrill there by Bailey, and that was the lifeline she needed. Absolutely in the side control now. Minute 18 seconds left to work in the round, so still take this round, but she's been bloodied up. Yeah, she's going to have to do some work and not just Neon hold to belly, take just this round. Saw the neon belly there, she was looking to slide over, but Georgia Hackland just not letting her right now. Really is just trying to control position, not looking for much is Bailey, but. But I think in this position as well, you can only play what your partner gives you, and Hackland is being very stiff and rigid in not wanting to make a false move, because if you know anything about the Manchester Predators, you know Where? that. You see, they were waiting oh, for that opportunity. Been a lovely but scramble from the Scottish hit squad girl. And that's it, and, and looking for the outside trip, but she just did oh. not get her weight forward, and now it's Hackland on top. In that half guard, it's pretty wide open at the moment. But it is, but... I get the sense that she's going to try and land a little bit of damage with the moment she can get up yeah. and out of dodge. And she just didn't keep that leg locked. Hackland needed to sit and anchor that leg just a little bit more. It's a dangerous strike. Go Beautiful a transition to armbar, but is it too little, too late in this round? But if nothing else, that's going to keep Hackland honest. And that's going to show Bailey, okay, this is the path to victory. This Abs is where I need to have it because a lot of those shots look like desperation shots. Like, I don't want to get hit in the face no more. But now she's shown that she does have the skill. She what? does have the skill on the back and on the bottom. Georgia Hacklin, again, we'll look at some of the combinations she throws. She lands heavy, backing up Melissa Bailey all the time there. And here's Bailey in, trying to, trying to get underneath the hips, yeah. but lifted up there. But then a lovely, on this suicide roll. Yeah, and, and the only one thing that I've changed from Bailey is, okay, you know, we're not going to change your striking now to be able to contend with Hackland. Okay, that there is something that's going to take time. But one thing that's going wrong in Bailey's approach to the takedown is she's sitting her weight back. She's very vertical. Vertical. She needs to be going in with the weight forward, her shoulders in front of her hips, and that's how she's getting these. So if I'm Gavin Borman now, which I'm sure he spotted it, it's 
get forward, don't stop driving forward, don't get the hips and sit vertical. And we'll see if uh, we'll see if Hacklin starts with the pace in the second. And she started with the first. She was very aggressive. But what happens to a striker when she engages in the grappling? Strikers are conditioned to strike, and you can be great wrestlers, even if you're a striker, but you know. It's all about what your body's made up of. If you've wrestled all your life, you don't get tired wrestling, but you get tired boxing. Yeah. You know, it's... A right, heavy low Ooh, kick. Ooh, beautiful. Untelegraphed. Oh. And, and there's a, a lot of limb to hit of Bailey's. And a nice left hand as well, following it from Georgia Hackland. She s slowed the aggression down a little, but yeah. she's still the one controlling where this fight takes place at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And right now, I'd suggest she's the one controlling the tempo. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, because Bailey's fighting at her pace and not offering, offering anything different, except for the little flurry that we got there. That's it. Well, there, she needs to keep driving because this is why she's getting oh. defended. And she needs to fight that hand now. Yes, she, she needs to get out there. She's does. dropping to the back, but not quick enough. She comes out on top into side, control, side control, and that is where she needed to be. Nice scramble. Right now, she could be looking for a little Von Flew choke, but oh. no, nope, she steps over to mount. Steps over and now starts this to... Is, yes. This is what Bailey needed. And, and what a fantastic answer after that first round. That's it, and look at that. Hooks Instead of in. forcing, taking the back, she made her opponent give the back strike. MMA Jiu-Jitsu is different to Jiu-Jitsu. And now landing shots. And she's away looking on. for the choke. This could be the biggest comeback it, of the night. Is she there? She's looking to go palm to palm. She's not quite there yet, but if she slips the arm behind the neck, she could get it across the jaw, and it still chokes you. Oh, Hacklin's got it, managed it, to slip her head out. She's open. looking to come back on top. Is she gonna flatten her opponent out, or just look to, this is a dangerous game to play. You can get booked off the top. Yeah, and she wants to use those hooks now, flatten her, there we go. Yeah. Hacklin does very well to get to a hip, though, she every does, time. But this is not a position where you want to be halfway between two positions. Yeah. But Bailey needs to be careful and understand she's the longer fighter because she's getting too, she's riding oh, too she's high, but she's for looking the for the arm. There it is. This could be it. Yeah. She looks composed, though, just Hacklin looks like she's. She's taken the legs out of play, which is going to finish the armbar. She's managed to roll the elbow yep. out. She needs to step over the top to the other side. Again, just but she can punch her in the thighs. hamstring. Yeah, absolutely. And that's going to be a round to Bailey. We're going to be looking at one apiece one right piece now. And everything to play for. And how Bailey came alive when she took that top position. Absolutely. Didn't just go hunting for the submission, chipped away with some yep. ground and pound. Beautiful, and just slices over into the mount. And and this this is the difference between getting a finish and seeing a third round. Bailey is going to look back at this, and she's going to get taught. I mean, Gavin's not slouch, is he? Let's be honest, he's one of the best coaches around. And she's just sitting too high, and she's not flattening out her opponents. So when you don't flatten out your opponent, you start to strike. This is what happens. And rolling for an armbar is all well and good, but you end up on bottom yeah. if you don't get it. So I'd like to see just a little bit more of an element of um, caution from Bailey and really make sure she got those positions in play. But everything she did in that second round, she's made it a fight now. I, Third round wins it, right? Absolutely. And you got to think that the lads over in the Scottish hit, hit squad corner of told George, yeah, we'd like a repeat of round one, please. Yeah, but it's the third round now, and uh, she's looking a little bit more labored with a strike. Still technically, still technically sharp, but just a little bit more labored in her approach. Yeah, when she was when she was going first, it really gave Bailey issues in that for, in the first round. It did, yeah. When she got past Bailey's range, and I don't think Bailey understands her range right now. She's still early, early in her career. <laughs> Yep. Believe me, the short people understand their range before the long people do. 
right? <laughs> Absolutely. Is, <laughs> is that, is that bad, it's of, no fun. Is that a little bit of experience talking there? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm massive. I, ident I identify as six foot five. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Right now, again, a more cautious pace, but the Scottish hit squads, Georgia Hacklin holding the center of the cage. You can hear the Manchester Predator corner asking Melissa to yeah. engage a little bit more now. Now, one big, one big movement could turn this round on its head. Absolutely. It could be a strike or it could be a takedown. The short rounds and we're less than two minutes. And you've got to suspect both the athletes know that, you know, they, it's on a knife's edge. Yeah, and, and they know that it is grappler versus striker right now. Not to say they can't do both because <laughs> they've shown elements beautiful return and there from. It's only, she's only landed that low kick four or five times tackling, but look at yep. the damage it's done to the oh, lead leg. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, she's tenderized that meat. You can hear their predators going. I think they want a bit more pressure, a bit they more do. engagement now from their fighter. But they need Bailey to do something now because if it goes, if it goes the distance, like we're over halfway into the third round and it's in a striking zone where the striker is. This is what she needed, but she needs to reshoot. They're right. saying again, again. Right. It was good hips from Hackland and then landed that little left hand on the jaw to. Reminder that it's not always going to be yeah. <laughs> always wise to close that distance. Yep. And saying get the takedown, but we've had over two minutes controlled by the striker in a three-minute round. Yeah, it, it is now. You'd, you'd suggest it's gut check time for both these young ladies. That's She's, it. A nice sprawl out. That's it. She needs to switch to the single. That's it, nice. Nice disengagement yeah, strikes there and, by Bailey. And, and, but Georgia, listening to her corner, they asked her to, you know, get some distance and disengage. Yeah. She did, she ate the shot from Bailey, but she's not in a position where she's on the on the mat. And yeah. Now, oh, nice knee to knee with a few seconds left. This is gonna leave something in the eyes of the judges. It is, it is, and a very close round. I'm not saying Bailey didn't do anything, and I'm not saying Hackland did a lot. But yeah, it, it, when you're looking at cage control, when you're looking yeah. at aggression, when you're looking at stuff in your opponent's game plan, she sprawled on every takedown and did damage from it. You know, it wasn't that Bailey did nothing because she tried. She was in Absolutely. there. She was fighting. I just think the more effective work in that round came from Hackland. Absolutely. I would, I would think we're probably going to get a... 29, 28. Yeah, a very, very close 29, 28. Because Bailey landed strikes. It's just unfortunate when she landed strikes, so did Hacklin. But when yeah. Hacklin was landing, Bailey wasn't. Yeah. It, it is one of those. But aggression can come ha in all forms. Shooting the takedowns, aggression, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it, for me, it's easy. It was Hacklin the first, Bailey the second, then the third. Very, very, a very close. close. And you'd yes. Die. But wiser heads than ours will have to come to that decision, Danny, that people get paid the big bucks. Yep. We'll wait for Mr. Seth Khan to make his way into the cage, give a quick shout out to Combat Sports and MMA Reloaded, our media partners. We're proud to be associated with the English Mixed Martial Arts Association and sponsor right. Mr. Seth Khan has the result. Let's turn it over to RMC and he will make the result official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four round, we go to the judges at scorecard. 29, 29, 29, Hackland, and 29, 28, declaring your winner in the blue corner, Hackland. Please show your appreciation for Melissa Bailey.